What is up guys, Smashing Pumpkin here, coming at you guys with another post-narrated game today. I'll be using a Black Garden Chain Beat versus Heretic Dragon Rulers. Um, the Dragon Ruler deck has been hyped up at the moment, but somewhat justifiably due to the raw power the deck has, and just the boost that Ashes gives to the recurability of the Dragon Rulers. However, an anti-meta deck such as mine will have a much easier time at combating what they're going to be trying to do. So without further ado, the game starts, he just sets one back row card card Ds. And I go Thunderbird, swing in. I don't want to summon Fossil Diner just yet, just in case he has an out to it in his hand. But it turns out that that is kind of the wrong play. And I also consider the Mirror Force, just because I know that Wing Beat is a card, and I don't think that you can OTK me. So he goes a set in Tributes for Nebthid, I believe, and then he goes into a Counter Trap, which is rarely played. And it works out really well here, because it allows him to go into 6, which he wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So he goes into a tomb. I have to Fiendish Chain because I know that him getting out of Draco Sack will mean pretty much the end of the game. And then I decide to chain Thunderbird just so it doesn't die to the oncoming Gaia Dragon. But I know that if he has title he OTKs me. And I get really worried when he summons the Redox, but I realize I'll live with a thousand, but then it turns out he also has title. Making the summon of Redox kind of um, pointless, but in any case, he just kinda swings in for game. I didn't really have a shot, but it was okay. Siding begins, and I decide to take out a Thunderbird and a Wind-Up Rabbit for Doom Cows to stop effects. Obviously bring in Macro and Soul Drain over Black Garden, which I feel is a lot weaker against the Dragon Ruler matchup against others, and then bring in Vandies and um, the Transmigration Prophecy over some of the weaker traps that I run. I am setting 4 back row here, just so I can stop anything that happens, but it turns out he has a perfect counter to my 4 back row, which is the Heretic Dragon and then the Wing Beat. So I consider quitting here for a really long time, but I decide that since my Fossil Diner does shut down most of his deck, I might have a shot there, but I think it's really dubious. But I'll give it a shot anyway. So I summon the Fossil Diner and just attack, and then set the thing that gets blown out by MST in the end phase. And then he draws and sets a monster, after he gets its name Tefnuit. And I remember that the dragon that he summoned earlier had 1200 defense, so my Gwaiba has to be able to get over it, because his Fossil Diner won't be able to otherwise. So I swing in for 12, and he Dragon Shrines to thin out his deck a little bit more, but it's not going to end up helping out too much. So, he ends up just setting another monster and ends, and I attack over with Gaiba. I debate summoning another Gaiba, but I, he's not in anywhere OTK range, and a Dark Hole just murders me. So, I just decide to YOLO it, and if he has something to block me, it's fine. But, he ends up not, so I win, Fossil Giant putting the team on his back. I side back in the Starlight Road, just in case I need to stop the um, Wing Beat again. And here he goes Draco, which I guess would be the side if I was playing Evil Swarm, which was the only monster you saw in game one. They might have just kept that in anyway. But he ends up having Mirror Force for my Doom Cal, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, he goes Dragon Shrine and sends the Blaster to his graveyard, which is okay. And he just swings in for 19, which I'm perfectly cool with. So I set the Mirror Force and summon the Fossil Dino because I think I have adequate protection for it. And then he ends up summoning a set, and I know that I have to warning that just in case he has a wing beat and then just ruins my entire day and then he just ends his turn i luckily rip the tanky so i can get into my bear and then bear pop the drago and then just, just swing in for a bunch of damage and then get my second tanky going so i decide to end my turn there and he ends up summoning another set which i compulsory escape back into the deck so that i don't have to deal with another wing beat and that ends up ending his turn which is cool uh, I decide to MST in the end phase just in case, it ends up just being Heretic Seal of the Ashes, so that would have been irrelevant, but I end up attacking in with everything, and he's pretty much in a pickle here, he has to Heretic Seal, and he plays like the weirdest Heretic Dragon, which is Geb, which is a normal summonable Heretic Dragon, but it doesn't search out anything that he plays in his deck, so I don't know really why he's playing it, but it doesn't really matter because I have the Mirror Force added anyway, and that kind of ends the game because he doesn't really have any plays left. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys learned a little bit about the Dragon Ruler matchup, and this is Smashing Pumpkin, signing out, peace.